Sooner or later we will realize how impermanent life is. Every person alive, our loved ones included will draw their last breath one day. There was a young man who had been diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer, and had been given two months to live. As he was getting his things in order, he contacted his pastor and had him come to his house to discuss certain aspects of his final wishes. He told him the songs he wanted sung at his funeral, the scriptures he wanted read, and what outfit he wanted to be buried in. The young man also requested to be buried with his favorite Bible. Everything seemed in order and the pastor was preparing to leave when the young man suddenly remembered something. There's one thing more, he said excitedly. What's that? came the pastor's reply. This is very important, the young man continued. I want to be buried with a spoon in my hand. The pastor stood looking at him, not knowing quite what to say. That surprises you, doesn't it? the young man asked. Well, to be honest, I'm puzzled by the request, said the pastor. The young man explained. In all my years of attending church socials and potluck dinners, I always remember that when the dishes of the main course were being cleared, someone would lean over and say, keep your spoon. It was my favorite part because I knew that something better was coming, like a chocolate cake or an apple pie. So, I just want people to see me there in that casket with a spoon in my hand and I want them to wonder, what's with the spoon? Then I want you to tell them, keep your spoon. The best is yet to come. The pastor's eyes welled up with tears as he hugged the young man goodbye. He knew this would be one of the last times he would see him before his death. But he also knew that the young man had a better grasp of heaven than he did. The young man knew that something better was coming. At the funeral, people were walking by the casket and they saw the nice suit he was wearing, his favorite Bible, and the spoon in his right hand. Over and over the pastor heard the question, what's with the spoon? And over and over he just smiled. During the message, the pastor told the people of the conversation he had with the young man shortly before he died, and explained the meaning of the spoon. So the next time you find yourself reaching for the spoon, remind yourself that the best is yet to come. Yes, life is unexpected. Death or sorrow can come at any time. There's no way for us to prepare for these devastating events. However, always remember that there is another life with God in heaven.